Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another Match Day Live episode today. Arsenal are away from home, taking on Southampton. Hopefully, this is going to be an easy three points today for Arsenal. Uh, Southampton, never the best place to go, I have to say, but they are not in the best of forms. Currently sitting in 19th place in the Premier League, so fighting for their survival. If they do win today, they could possibly get out of the relegation zone, but Arsenal in form, of course, 22 games unbeaten, I believe now. Um, so we want to make that 23 after today's game and we want him to go out put in a good performance and hopefully um, get the victory because we have an important game in midweek which I believe is in the, the League Cup, the EFL Cup, whatever you want to call it these days against Tottenham um, and then we do have some more games obviously before the year is out. Busy Christmas period of course and um, we've got a few injuries as well. Um, Rob Holding being out for the rest of the season but we do have Koscielny back not sure whether we'll be starting today's game it would be nice to see him start because he seemed to be okay in midweek in that final Europa League game um, so we'll see how he gets on see what kind of squad Unai Emery puts out I'm sure it's still going to be a fairly um, strong squad whether he goes with Aubameyang up top or decides to go with the front two of Lacazette and Aubameyang and that remains to be seen but I think Lacazette needs to be starting games um, he goes through good form and then he, he doesn't score for one game then for some reason Unai Emery decides to go with just the one striker again which I just don't understand to be honest because Lacazette has always got goals in him um, regardless whether he gets a goal in a game or not he's always at danger man and I know Aubameyang is an absolute threat right now um, it would be nice to see them both play together as a central um, pairing up top but we'll wait and see um, see what kind of team Unai Emery wants to put out we'll see as, as well as Ozil takes a shot there whether he'll be starting today after his recent, recent layoff from I think it was a back injury he's always complaining he's got a bad back for some reason um, but I think that's just to get out of the big games because we had a couple of big games recently and he did not want any part of it so he was back for the Carabag game in midweek. He played fairly well, I have to say, but it is only Carabag, so he can't really play badly, can you, up against them? Um, will he get to start in today's game? I think he will start today. Um, so hopefully he can put in a shift for us, get, maybe get an assist or two. And we want to see goals today. That's one thing we want to see. Plenty of goals for the Arsenal. Uh, if we do win today's game, that could put us back into the top four above Chelsea. Chelsea play today as well, I believe. Not sure who they play. Um, actually, as I to talk of them, let's just have a look on my second screen. See who they've got. Oh, they kick off the same time as ourselves. And they are away to Brighton and Hove Albion. So, um, I can only see a Chelsea win there, to be honest. So, I think we'll stay in fifth, regardless of us winning or losing. Um, uh, but you never know. Brighton could cause a shot, get the three points there. As Aubameyang from the corner kick has just put Arsenal in front here on FIFA 19. Uh, we do always go for those near post corners when we're playing on single play because that is exactly what happens. We can score. Bad positioning from the goalkeeper makes the ball go into the, uh, the front post for some reason. And we will always take advantage of it. Good little finish. So look at this nice little volley. Boom. A goalkeeper and a defender out the front post. And still the ball goes past the both of them. Um, also today, it is Liverpool taking on Manchester United. That is the, the final game of today. It's the 4pm kick off that one. Um, so no doubt all eyes will be on that one today. Um, I'm personally hoping for a Manchester United win just so that we can start chasing Liverpool properly and hopefully catch them up. But of course, we've got to do our own job first. Go out and get the three points ourselves. Then we can watch the Liverpool and Manchester United game um, a little bit more relaxed. So fingers crossed, um, Manchester United get the job done there. I'm sure Manchester City, they'll be wanting a United win as well for the first time um, ever. Um, I did see something about that in the paper that Manchester United... Uh, sorry, Manchester City do want Manchester United to win. Um, but regardless of that, I think Manchester City are still going to be taking the title. Um, doesn't really matter on other results. They are the team in form. Um, we'll see how they get on though. And we are also keeping an eye on, on players for the informed performances for Ultimate Team. Remember, uh, we do get informs in Ultimate Team every week. And Gabriel Jesus actually got two goals yesterday, so I'm expecting an inform from him. Um, Griezmann also got two goals at the weekend, so there could be an inform from him. I'm hoping for an Arsenal one. I don't really want an Aubameyang inform because obviously I've already got his 
uh, player of the month card and he is an absolute beast for me so far uh, so I'd like um, maybe another Lacazette in form there is a Lacazette in form already on the market but it would be nice to get another a uh, bit more increased stats of course um, I've just got that Footmas Terrera card as well. I did get that one myself. So we are getting a few more Arsenal players in the side. As we go through and almost giving Arsenal a two-goal lead there. Aaron Ramsey it was, but couldn't get enough curl on it. Um, there was a little bit of curl, but not enough. And that one goes wide of the Southampton goal. So Arsenal still leading here away from home. One goal to nil as we do approach the hour mark. And Southampton there with the goal kick. So moving on then. Uh, just to actually, just a few minutes after that original shot there from Aaron Ramsey and Arsenal back winning possession. Here's Mkhitaryan picked up a knock in this game, uh, but okay to carry on. Torreira to Lacazette. Lacazette plays the ball over the top, finds his teammate Aubameyang, who cuts inside there, and that's a poor ball there from Aubameyang. But Mkhitaryan, he's fighting for the ball back. He gets it, cuts the ball back as well, crosses far post, and there is Lacazette on the edge of the six yard box to give Arsenal a two goal lead with a fantastic volley there from Lacazette I told you he's always got goals in him he's a danger man when given the chance and just over an hour gone then here it is now Southampton nil Arsenal 2 good play there from Mkhitaryan he won the ball back and then put in a fantastic cross there for Lacazette to smash it into the back of the goal so 2-0 will lead Hopefully we can grab another, get this game wrapped up, make it 3-0. Can we get one so soon here? 20 minutes to play. Here is Lacazette. Score of last goal. Crosses near post. That one cleared away though by the Southampton defence. But good effort there. Um, less than 20 minutes to play. And it is Redmond now for the Saints. Pushing on to this near side. That was going to go out of play. No, he's kept it in. Good play there from Nathan Redmond. Plays the ball now. Forward and looking for the cross crosses there from Charlie Austin and that one headed into the back of the net by Danny Ings and Southampton have pulled themselves back and got themselves a lifeline in this match. Some work to do then for the Arsenal, got to concentrate, don't want to be conceding anymore. Uh, but Southampton, now that they've got that goal, the momentum will be going with them, especially with the home support. You can see how happy they are in the background. Uh, the fans there cheering them on. Play is very happy. Good cross there from Charlie Austin. And look at that. Defender was there all on him. And somehow EA said that Danny Ings got in front of him. Just don't understand the defensive work in this game. You've got good positional play. You're pressing the right buttons. But still, no matter what you do, they still somehow get through your player. Uh, even clip through him as well to get the ball in the end. But Nathan Redmond again playing a ball forward for Austin. Redmond, nice little back heel there, playing like Barcelona. As you can tell, the momentum is with them. Nathan Redmond with the cross and another headed cross has gone in. This time it's from Shane Long and it is now Southampton 2, Arsenal 2. The last minute goal there from Long gives Southampton a point. And I think with time running out, that is going to be the end of this match. So don't forget to leave your votes in the top right corner guys let me know who you think is going to come out on top or whether it will be a draw also in the comments let me know who you think is going to be the first goal scorer who is going to come out on top and who is going to be scoring at all will arsenal get a hat trick um, any hat trick players who will come out with a an inform card maybe in the team of the week and ultimate team and uh, can we go through and win this one later on lacazette oh he dragged that one wide unlucky Alexandra Lacazette almost giving Arsenal the three points. Nice little three ball from Ozil, I believe it was. And he went for the low driven, just dragged it wide. But great shot. Uh, unlucky not to get that one into the bottom corner. But that is it, guys. It is going to end 2-2 here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as we wait for that final whistle to blow, I will see you guys in the next one. And there it is, final whistle blows. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.